how to see the top clicked and top purchased products for a keyword using Amazon brand analytics data. So Amazon brand analytics is something that Amazon released about two, maybe three years ago, and it's really helpful. It's a data point that tells you for any keyword, what were the top three products that were clicked on? And then from those top three clicked products, what was the percentage of their click share and what was the percentage of their conversion share or purchase share? For any keyword that comes up in Cerebro, you can actually see that number. Now, why is this important and how can this metric help you make money? Well, all the keywords are not created equal. There are some keywords that result in a lot of clicks and a lot of purchases, and there are some keywords that don't have a lot of purchases at all. There are some keywords where maybe the top three products that are clicked, they're dominating the clicks and they're dominating the purchases. While there are other keywords, when you add up the top three products that are clicked, they might not have a big percentage of the overall clicks and conversions for a keyword. And that would give you some information to let you know if a market might be a little bit more wide open. There's a lot of ways to look into this data and get ahead of the game. So for example, you might want to focus on a keyword where you see a couple of really bad listings that are just dominating the sales and you know that you can take over. That might be a little more attractive to focus on as opposed to something else. So how do you do that? Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Okay, so this is a Cerebro search and you can see right here, this is the Amazon Brand Analytics total click share and conversion share. And this is for the top three clicked and top converted products, okay? One thing that you want to note is that you can actually filter by percentage up here if you wanted to kind of filter through these. So what this is showing here is the total click share for the top three products. And this is their conversion share, 28% right here. If you click into this graph, you can actually see a little bit more detail here based on the month. You can change around the date here. You can look at past months. But what you can see right here is you can actually see the, the click share for each product and the conversion share. So right here, we've got a 22% click share and a 4.6% conversion share. That's going to tell you, OK, we need to do something to increase that conversion share, because in a perfect world, you would want to see if I had 22 percent of the click share, I want to get close to at least 20 something percent of the conversion share right there. So there's something potentially going on with a listing here. Right here, we've got 16 percent of the click share, 19 percent of the conversion share. Really good. And this one is about 10% of the click share and about 10% of the conversion share. So this gives you a really good indication about, you know, the top clicked and top converted products for any keyword at all. So, so let's take a look at another example here. We've got coffin tray and the top three clicked products have 30% of the click share and only 11% of the conversion share. So something's going on here. And maybe this means that you could get in there and maybe beat out the competition here. They're not converting for some reason, or maybe it's just a keyword that's not relevant enough to the products. So there's a lot of different ways that you can look at this and, you know, take a look at the data to make some good decisions. So if you have Amazon brand, brand analytics accessible in your, in your Amazon seller central, then you can actually connect your helium 10 account to Amazon Seller Central and you can get this data pulled into your Cerebro tool and makes it very easy to see everything all in one place. Check it out. <music>